it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first Halloween tutorial of 2018. Today's look is kind of like a beehive-ish look inspired by American Horror Story Cult and is also inspired by two pictures I saw on Instagram which I have the usernames written down. Obviously, you know, gotta give credit where credit is due. Okay, so I first saw a look on Ethan is Supreme and I saw that he tagged Ryan B. Potter, who originally did the look, and he was inspired by him. So my look is kind of like a twist off of both of their looks, because theirs are obviously a little bit different from each other, and nothing's like exactly the same. But I just loved it so much, I wanted this to be my first Halloween look of the year, and I decided to do my twist on their twist on American Horror Story Cult. So that is what this is. I don't know if I already said this, but I'm so happy with how this came out. I actually love it. This year I'm going to be doing so many Halloween videos. I said that last year and I didn't end up doing any. Well, I did some, but I didn't do very many because I was sick. I had mono and I felt awful. And then I was behind on schoolwork and I just didn't get as many videos done as I wanted to. But this year I'm super motivated. I really want to get a, out a bunch of videos. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make up for last year and I'm going to post so many videos. Halloween is my second favorite holiday behind Christmas, but they're almost pretty much tied for first anyway. That's how much I love Halloween. I love Halloween makeup looks and I have so many ideas already. So I wanted to start this off super duper early. That's why I'm starting at the beginning of September because I want to have two months dedicated to Halloween where I can post as many tutorials and as many looks as possible. Besides the videos I'm going to be posting on here, I'm also going to be sharing photos of looks that I don't do tutorials for. They will be on my Instagram, and if you want to check those out, definitely be sure to follow me. It is at Abby Strohmeyer. We just hit 19.5k, and I'm so excited. I hit 10k the weekend of Memorial Day, and right now it's Labor Day weekend, so I got almost 10,000 followers over the, like, technically what's considered summer. And honestly, I'm so, so grateful. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. I'm not very good at, like, giving or, like, showing my appreciation for things, but just know that I'm super duper appreciative of everyone who's followed me, who's shown love on my work, and... I appreciate every single one of you so much. I'm really hoping that maybe we can get the last 500 by Labor Day so we can be a full 10,000 over the summer. But either way, I'm so grateful that we made it to 19.5k and I'm so excited to continue posting and hopefully grow more over the next few months and over the next few years because I don't plan on stopping like ever so but now I will stop rambling so we could get on into the whole purpose of the video which is the tutorial so if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe so you can check out my other videos when I upload and other than that let's just hop right on into the video so as you can see I've already applied foundation concealer and my eyebrows and I've already set my face just because I wanted to focus more on the Halloween aspect rather than the stuff that you see in your everyday makeup tutorial so I've already done that. I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation with the Benefit Professional Pearl Primer, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown, which is actually a little bit too dark, but I ran out of soft brown, which is what I usually use. So I went to medium brown for today and I used the Makeup Revolution Concealer. And then I set it with the Cody Loose Airspun Powder like I usually do. So that's what I did for my base. So we're going to start out with the eyeshadow look. I'm going to be taking the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette today. And this is probably going to be the only palette or shadows that we use for this tutorial. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to be taking the shade Snatched right here. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my Morphe M149 brush. And I'm going to be dipping into the shade Snatched like I said. And I'm just going to be carving out like a like the crease, but I'm going to be going above my natural crease because it's what I always do because my eyes are a little bit deep set and I want to still be able to see the cut crease when my eyes are open and I'm looking straight ahead. Okay, 
Okay, so I've kind of started up the outline for how I want it to look. And I'm going to start packing that red shade right over the outline in kind of the center. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking concealer and cleaning up the bottom. And we're going to be blending the top part out. But we want the middle that is going to be nice and sharp and pigmented. Now I'm taking a clean M441 brush and I'm just going and blending that out at the top edge for the top part and the bottom edge for the bottom part and I'm also bringing it under the lower lash line. Now it looks all kinds of crazy, I'm going to be cleaning it up with my Makeup Revolution concealer and I'm going to be switching between this big flat round brush and this small flat round brush. Going in the inside, cleaning up right around here and right around here just so it's a nice sharp line. Okay, so now I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to apply lashes. Today I'm going to be wearing Icon Lashes in the style Slay. And then I will also be doing the other eye off camera. And when I'm done, I will come back and we can move on to the next part. So next we're going to be moving on to the face. I'm taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and my Hula Bronzer Brush. And I'm just going to be bronzing up my face. For blush, I'm using the NARS blush in the shade Dolce Vita, and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks and bringing it back towards my hairline. For highlight today, I'm going to be using two. I'm going to start out with the Jouer Citrine highlight, and I'm going to apply that to the normal highlight areas. Actually, I lied. I think we're just going to stick with this one today. We won't add a second one on top because I really like how this looks on its own. For the next step, I'm going to be taking the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner in the shade Dance Party. And whenever I use these, I always use the Evian Spray Mist Water thing. And a lot of people think this is ridiculous to buy like literally straight up water in a spray can. But I love this stuff. It works so well when you're using hydro liners or anything water activated. And it just feels really good when you spray it on your face. So what I'm going to do is I just take a bunch and I spray it right in there. And then you can see that it gets like really liquidy. Now I'm going to take like a bigger brush like this. And just swirl it around so it gets like as deep into the product as possible so a lot of it starts getting activated. So now I'm just looking at my reference picture and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by using this brush, it's like a thin angled brush. And we'll start off with that and see how well that works at applying the product, applying the product is what I was saying and then I got distracted. Um, I'm just going to dip into here a little bit and you see it picked up some product. I'm just going to start. like that by making a line okay I'm not sure how I liked how that worked with that brush so I'm just gonna take a thin brush and we'll try it again I need like a mirror so I think that was a little easier we we'll basically just make a bunch of little hexagons all over this area. It's like hard to get up here because my baby hairs keep getting in the way. Okay, 
Okay, so we have that little section done. Basically, all you want to do is you just want to keep connecting the lines so they create more and more little hexagons. And they're hexagons, right? I think so. I'm not very good at geometry at all. But I'm pretty sure they're hexagons, and if I'm wrong... And I'm going to do the same thing right here. When I do these here on the side of my face, I'm just going to make it kind of down in a diagonal line, kind of following where I bronzed up my face. And then I'm going to do one last one here at the bottom. Okay, a little fun fact, although it's probably not really a fun fact and I'm pretty sure nobody cares, but hexagons are apparently like the most space conservative, like they conserve the most space, that's why bees use them in like their hives, is because it saves the most space and then they have to use like less materials to create their like hives and all that stuff. And there's like a whole like math science behind it, I saw it in a video on YouTube, but I don't really know the math or science behind it because... Like I said, I'm not good at that. But yeah, so apparently that's why bees use hexagons in their honeycombs and whatever because it's like the most space conservative and whatever. So honestly, bees are kind of intelligent even though I hate them just because they sting you. I've gotten stung by bees way too many times in my life. Okay, and then I'm gonna do just a few, like less than I did right here. I'm gonna do them right here on this side of my face, like right next to my mouth. I think I'll probably do three of these. This side's definitely a lot harder to do. Okay, just kidding. I'm going to do one more below that. Okay, so we have four here. We have like eight here and then a bunch up there. And now we're going to move back onto the top ones because those are probably the most dry. I'm going to be going back into my butter bronzer with my M149 brush. And I'm going to be kind of shading them. I'm going to be shading all of them like at the bottom. So what you want to do for this is, like I said, I'm shading at the bottom. Actually, I think I'm going to use my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit because that one's a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm just shading the bottom, like, two-thirds of these just to, like, give it more of a 3D effect. And what you want to do when you're shading anything is you want to stick to shading the same area on every single item that you're shading because... If the sun is coming down and casting a shadow, which is what we're shading, you know, because it's like the sun's casting the shadow, so 3D effect, more like dimension type thing. You want to keep shading in the same area because the sun's always going to be hitting it at the same angle if they're all right next to each other. So that way it'll look more realistic because if you have shadows going off in all different directions, then it won't really look that realistic because obviously the sun's not coming from 10 different angles at once. Now we're doing the same thing for the ones down here. Next, we're going to be going into our Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Campy on a Morphe M506 brush, tapping off the excess, and we're going to start by just blending this around the edges of where we placed our little honeycombs. Now I'm just going to be taking the yellow and I'm kind of like packing it around the lines of the hexagon just to make them a little less like a neon yellow and more of like a regular yellow. 
so now I'm just going to keep doing the same thing around all the little areas that we put the honeycombs. I just got purple on my brush, that's not good. But I'm not going to go very, like, very high up around the top area of this one because I don't want to go too much into the highlight because, you know, the highlight is always the most important thing of every look. And like I did with the other one, I'm going to pack it on the little lines. Now I'm going to go in with that same brush and go into my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm going to go just around the area that's like immediately around the honeycombs just to darken it up a little bit and give it a little dimension. I'm going to mostly focus on the area below though because like I said earlier about the shadows and all of that, if the shadows inside the honeycombs are like at the bottom we want the most shadow below the honeycombs to be at the bottom too. I'm going to go back and blend that out in a second. I'm just going to use a clean brush to blend that out so I'm going to finish up putting the bronzer before I go back in. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to use a clean 506 brush, M506 brush, to blend that out. I'm going to take the M506 brush that doesn't have anything on it. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Campy, the yellow shade from the Life's a Drag palette, and I'm going to bring a little bit on this corner of my nose, like around like the nostril and a little bit below. Okay, so we're almost done with this. The last step, I'm going to be applying this liquid lipstick. It's the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. Lacquer. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. This one's like a super dark purple. I was looking for a black because I don't have a black lipstick. This is the best I could find. You know what? No. I think what I'm going to do first... I need a tissue to wipe this off. And then I'm first going to take this. <coughs> okay, I look crazy right now. I'm going to wipe this off and then after I'm going to take the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Drop Dead Red and then I'm going to apply this over the top so there's more of like a dark base color underneath it so it's not like as purpley. You know what I mean? I also forgot to line my lips which would have also been a problem so I'm going to do that with the My Looking Glass Soft Texture Long Wearing Lip Liner in the shade Deep Plum. I'm going to do that off camera or just cut it out because you don't need to see that. It's just boring. Okay, so now for the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick. Actually, I might just wear this. Okay, so I decided that I actually want a little bit of an inner corner highlight. So we're going to go back into the Life's a Drag palette and just take a little bit of the shade Legendary. And we're just going to put a little bit in the inner corner. And then on top of that I'm putting a little bit of Jouer Citrine. Okay, so the final part is the scary part. And not that it's like terrifying scary, but it's scary because my hair could get stuck in it and it can make a giant mess. So for this part, I'm going to tie my hair back just so it's like not in the way while I do this part. Oh, I look like a boy now. Wonderful. So here I have honey. And to make this worse, it's almost out. So it's like upside down. I'm going to take this honey. I'm going to take a q-tip. I'm going to take some honey on the q-tip. And I'm going to start... See, I already got a piece of hair in it. 
like dragging it down my face. I feel like if this is a look that you're wearing out somewhere, using real honey probably isn't very practical because your hair is going to get stuck in it like a lot. But because I'm not going anywhere, I'm literally just going to take this off and like 45 minutes. I think this looks cooler. Finally, because I forgot this step earlier, I'm gonna spray my face with Fix Plus. Face with Fix Plus. Ooh, honey just dripped on my shirt. Okay, so then this right here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually love how it turned out. I was a little skeptical, I was a little concerned because I haven't done like a look like this since last Halloween and looking back on them, they weren't necessarily the best. So I was a little concerned that this one would come out like not as good like how last year's did. But I'm actually really happy and like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna do so many videos this year. I know I said that last year, but this year I'm actually gonna do a ton of videos. I'm so excited for Halloween. I'm so ready to do a bunch of Halloween looks. So be ready for that. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this look as much as I did. I will see you on my next video. Bye.